Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Adobe form or PDF forms and we will cover a topic currency slash quantity fields in which scenario we should make use of this particular tab currency slash quantity fields and it is already covered in the smart forms also and in this Adobe form, we will cover an extremely important concept. Generally, I am using log, I am receiving lots of queries and lots of errors, which people are doing. Now we will go for the answers for all those things. We will go for the common mistakes and solution for the same. Now, if I will run this PDF form or Adobe form which we developed. This is our Adobe form or PDF form which we developed. I will give the input. And every day I am getting lots of queries because of this. So we will go for the solution for the same. What are the solutions? Now I got the output. If you see in this Adobe form or PDF form, we are displaying the amount. We took amount, same thing we have, I might have quantity also. Now, if I will go for the interface, which we developed, this is the interface, which we developed. Now, now in this interface, if I will go to global data, this is our VBA we created the structure. Have you seen in this structure itself, we took the reference field, we took the reference field for the amount. This is our amount and this is our reference field. In the same structure itself, I took the reference field and I passed the reference of the same structure. That's why there is no error for me. If you are taking the reference field in the same structure and you are passing the reference of the same to same structure, there is no problem, no error will come. Suppose if I will go to our Adobe form or PDF form. Now in Adobe form or PDF form, we are not displaying the currency. So we simply, simply deactivated the currency column. So currency column is not displaying in the output. It is perfectly fine, perfectly. Now what the maximum mistakes are coming and we will go for the solutions of the same and from interview perspective, extremely important concept. Now, now this is the structure. Now what people will do? Okay, now we will go for suppose first scenario. People has taken the reference column, reference field in the same structure, but they will not pass the reference of the same structure they will pass the reference from a different table itself. Because now what people will do? Suppose if I will go to VBAP table. From VBAP table, we took the column NETWR and WAERK. So they will go to currency slash quantity full field and they will copy same to same reference here. Now I will activate this structure. Now just see, now we are not passing the reference from the same structure. Still we have the reference field, but we are not passing the reference from the same structure. We are passing the reference from a different table itself. There's no problem. You can go by this. It's okay, totally okay. But now how to resolve the issues, which the issues will come, we will see. I will not touch the existing Adobe form or PDF form because anyways, we have to revert whatever I am doing. So I will show you by creating a new Adobe form. So I will go to SFP. 
Now I will create a new Adobe form. Suppose I will say new. I will go for create. I will say new Adobe form. Anyways, I will not do anything. Just I want to show you how, how you can resolve the errors. Same to same interface I will pass here. Because you all know same interface we can use in multiple PDF form or Adobe forms. Now, now I will drag and drop the things. This is our P underscore V B E L N. I will go for V B A K. I will go for work area for V B A K. I will go for VBAP and I will pass the work area for VBAP. Now, whenever I will do or I will check the syntax, just I will click on to layout button else it will give the error for the layout also. Anyways, I will not design anything. Okay. Have you seen I got the error here? Reference table reference field VBAP, VBAP, W A E R K, you cannot use here. Now I am getting two errors, one for the internal table and one for the work area. Just see in the interface, in the interface, if I will go to the interface, we have LTVBAP, LWAVBAP. This is your internal table. Ultimately, in this internal table, you have the structure and you are passing the reference from different table itself. So we got the error here. If the same reference was there, we are not getting an error at all. But man, now whenever we are passing the reference from different table itself, which is not we are passing the reference from different table itself, then we will get the error. Now the question comes: how how we can resolve the error? One error, one solution, one extremely easy solution. Take the reference column in the same structure and pass the reference from the same structure. That is the one of the easiest way you can use. But maximum people say, no, we will not go for this. We will go, we will not change this particular thing. Then in that case, what you can do, you need to make use of currency slash quantity tab here. You need to make use of currency slash quantity tab of the interface. How we will do that? I will go to our interface. Now I will declare a variable here. I will go for global data. Suppose I will declare a variable here. I will go for create. Suppose my name of the variable is LV underscore C U R R. You can give any name, it's totally your wish. Type. Suppose the type is W A E R K. Yes, W A E R K is the data element for currency. If I will see, yes, it is a data element for the currency. Now I will go for currency slash quantity fields tab. I will go for create. Now in the F4, it will automatically show you if I will go to F4 help. Now, firstly, LTVBAP NETWR amount column. What is the reference field? What the reference field we declared? LV underscore CURR. I will go for again. Now we will go for second. L W A V B A P N E T W R. Same reference field we will use. In the F4 itself, it will show you. We will go for L V underscore C U R R. 
Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now, after that, I will go to our Adobe form or PDF form. Now the second most common mistake. Now we change the interface. If I will go to our Adobe form or PDF form, you can see still, still I have the error. Still I have the error. Now people will say I did, but still I'm getting the error. What you need to do in that case, you need to do the mapping again. So what you can do, you can delete the mapping and just do the mapping again. This is the second most common mistake. I will delete the mapping. And now I will do the mapping again. Suppose now I will save. Anyways, there is no need to delete everything. I deleted everything. I just need to delete other parts. I will save and come back again to this Adobe form or PDF form. So you just need to delete and come again and then do the mapping. So it will work. Suppose now if I am just moving this VBAP, this VBAP, because ultimately we are getting the error for this, we will go for VBAK. We will go for work area for VBAK. Now, if I will check the syntax. Now you can see there is no error. This error is for layout. If I will go to layout, this error will go. If I will go for allow, now if I will check the syntax, there will not be any error. I'll just wait for the layout to open. And yes, we are not creating anything. Now there is no error. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important concept we covered because there are lots of queries from the people and participants are getting lots of errors because of this. Because what they will do? They will took the reference from the different table. There is no problem. You can take the reference from different table. It's totally, totally your wish. But just think. If you are taking the reference from the same table, you will not get any error. If you are taking the reference from different table, so just make sure at that time you need to make use of currency slash quantity fee tab of your particular interface of the Adobe form or PDF form. Declare a variable and bind your currency or quantity fields to that particular variable. Now, after that, we covered, yes, still people will do this and they will go to Adobe form or PDF form and they will say, still we are getting the error. What you need to do, delete the existing mapping, come back and do the mapping again because we, it is because previously you did the mapping. So changes will not reflect automatically. Just delete and do the mapping again and the error will resolve. In the next video, we will again cover lots of further mistakes which are related to this currency slash quantity field tab. So that's it in this video. Thank you.